Hi all, if you are a returning viewer, welcome back. If you are new, welcome. My name is Amira. And today guys, we are gonna go over my Sephora sale haul. So I placed my first order for the Sephora sale haul on the first day it began. Um, but stuff, when I went on the website, a lot of stuff was out of stock already. So I wound up having to like place a small order and then place another order. And then one item that I wanted kept coming in and out of stock and I kept missing it. But I caught it finally. So that's not here yet, but I'll mention it towards the end of the video. But yeah, we're going to go over everything that I was able to get my little fingers on. So let's get into it. So let's start off with the biggest thing that I have, or like phys like <laughs> physically the biggest thing that I have, which is the, I got the Sephora Favorites Sun Safety Kit. Um, I always top up on my sunscreen in like in the spring before we get into the super hot, you know, sweaty, sunny days and I was really interested in this because it was only 39 bucks and you get quite a few um, sample sizes of various sunscreens plus you get two full sizes so you get a full size of the K-Skin um, Isle Lip Balm which was actually one of the items that I was thinking of getting like at the last minute I was going to add it to my cart and then I decided not to and then I wound up picking this up so I'm glad I didn't do that and then you get a full size of the Inky List Polyglutamic Acid Dewy Sunscreen SPF 30. So I'm going to open this up. I've already looked at all of this stuff. Um, some of it I've used, some of it is on my face today. Um, but I wanted to show you what is in it. So you get a full size of the Inky List Sunscreen. And then you get the full size of the lip balm which I'm excited to try and I always forget to put like sunscreen lip balm on in the summer so I'm, I'm trying to get more into that the problem is most lip balms with sunscreen in them taste weird and they feel weird on the lips because I've tried a fair amount and I've hated them all so I'm hoping that this one will like not be terrible you know you also get a mini of the um, Peter Thomas Roth water drench broad spectrum SPF 45 hyaluronic cloud moisturizer I like the tub version of this quite a bit um it's expensive though so it's not something that I buy often because I can go through moisturizer really fast and I don't necessarily want to have to repurchase a new moist you know like a $45 moisturizer every month and a half you know it's that's an expensive habit I've done that and I'm, I'm I've told myself that we won't be doing that anymore so this is a good product like the moisturizer itself but I, I don't to, to buy Peter Thomas Roth moisturizers off very often for that reason. All right, the next item is this St. Jane Luxury Sun Ritual Pore Smoothing SPF 30. Um, I'm hoping that this doesn't have a ton of um, dimethicone in it, and I want to look or like silicones in it because my skin doesn't love silicones, and things that are pore smoothing or pore filling tend to have quite a lot of silicones in them. So this doesn't have the full ingredient list on it so I'm going to go on the website and see what it says but it does say that it is um, for sensitive and breakout prone complexions and it is mineral based so we'll see but the bottle is really cute and this pretty so pretty so yeah I'm interested in that but I want to I want to look up the ingredients first then I have a mini of the Unseen Sunscreen. I am going to be giving this away because I have a bottle of this and this is another one that is very um, silicone heavy and it, my skin just doesn't love it. So, but I knew that was in there and I was like, okay, that's one thing that I'm like, okay, fine, whatever. I also have a bottle of the Fenty Skin Hydrovisor Broad Spectrum Mineral SPF Sunscreen Moisturizer. We'll see. Um, I've heard like mixed things about the Fenty skincare items so I'm a little like oh, we'll see um, I have also the polish choice youth extending daily hydrating fluid broad spectrum SPF 50 excited to try that and then I actually got a mini of what of the sunscreen that I use all winter long like this is what I've been using I just finished the bottle that I had I buy the like value size and in the winter it lasts me even though I wear sunscreen every day it lasts me a pretty long time when I get the large the large size so it was great to have like a little mini version but this is the Innisfree daily UV sunscreen Brock spectrum SPF 36 I love this sunscreen it's one of those sunscreens that is like not too dewy but it's not drying it doesn't 
change anything like that, that you put on top of it you know it's not it's not gonna affect your base products when you're putting your makeup on it's just like a really nice simple straightforward sunscreen there's no white cast um it sinks in beautifully your skin feels nice and moisturized but again doesn't feel overly dewy i really like that one so i, I like the idea of having a mini because then i can like travel with this if i want to love that and then i have a mini of the dermalogica dynamic skin recovery and spf 50 and then they also gave uh, one of the um a little mini of the dr jart Sika pear tiger grass color correcting treatment which i've always wanted to try this i'm really it's green and you put it on and it's good for like redness so i think this is like sort of like if you've had a little bit of sun and you want to like color correct i don't get super red i have to it takes a lot for me to get red in the sun because i don't I have melanin so it takes a while but also I don't I wear sunscreen and I wear a sun hat and I don't sit out in the sun so I don't get red in the sun very often but my skin can get very irritated by the sun so I'm kind of tempted to try this when my skin's like feeling a little irritated just from like heat and then I have a bottle of this Shiseido VitaClear Invisible Protection Vitamin C Broad Spectrum SPF 42. It is water resistant, which I love. And I love that this has vitamin C in it because I wear a vitamin C moisturizer underneath my sunscreen during the day because it's vitamin, vitamin C and sunscreen work really well together. Vitamin C can sort of like boost your sunscreen. Um, so I'm kind of interested in a sunscreen that has vitamin C in it. That's kind of cool. Um, then I have the Isle of Paradise customizable self tanning drops for the face and body. I'm going to give these away. I don't tan and I, I'm, 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 I'm permanently tan, so I don't feel like I need that. And then I have the Summer Friday Shade Drops. Now, I had a full bottle of this and this is another one that I'm probably going to like give away because my skin didn't love this. And again, I knew that these were in here, but I was willing to buy this because there were other things in here that I wanted. But you kind of like, when you get a, a bag of something that's full of minis, you're probably going to have one or two items that you're not going to be that into. Um, the Dr. Dennis Gross All Physical Ultimate Defense Broad Spectrum SPF 50. And then finally, the Kiehl's Better Screen UV Sunscreen Serum. Oh, I wonder how this feels, how, how serum-y it actually is. Um, that's more like a lotion. Yeah, that's more like a lotion. I was wondering if it was like Ashley Cerami. It's just a moisturizer. It's like any other sunscreen. They're just trying to be fancy with the words, guys, which I hate. So yeah, that is that little sun safety kit that I decided to pick up. And I like the fact that I'll have a few sunscreens, new sunscreens to try. I, I probably will still like do a sunscreen haul. Like a, I tend to love... Um, Korean Japanese sunscreens for the summer so I might still do that but it's nice to have those as well now after that I picked up the um, watermelon glow from glow recipe the watermelon glow niacinamide huge drops which I mentioned in my wish list or what's in my cart video that this was in my cart so I did pick those up I haven't tried them yet I tried them on my hand very promising so I'm excited to like put those on my face at some point and then I picked up the Danessa Myrick Jimmy Skin Water Power Powder Serum. Haven't tried this either. I could have used it today and I didn't think about it until I got like all the way to work. And I was like, damn, I could have used that today because today was like randomly really warm. Our weather has been like all over the place, but today was actually quite warm. So I, I could have used this, but I forgot. And then I got the Urban Decay Face Bond and I got it in the shade 21. This shade, I probably could do the shade go a shade down in this it's a little warm for a neutral but I have worn this about three times now and I'll show you what the bottle looks like um I have worn this about three times now and I am impressed guys it is in fact self-setting um it it's a definitely a foundation like if you are looking for something with coverage this will give it to you you can go light with it depending on how you apply it um I use I've used brushes with it and then I kind of went over it with a sponge and it did kind of like thin it out a bit and make it a little less full coverage but this is like this is a foundation this isn't like it's a serum it's a skin tint no 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 this is a foundation foundation so go into that if you're interested in this knowing that that this is not going to give you like 
light coverage unless you make a point of putting it on lightly and using less product. I don't use a ton of product anyway and even when I don't use a ton of product this gave me full coverage. It's actually quite thin um, and I'm, I'll put it on my hand so you guys can see so let's see come on if I can get it out there we go that noise is not cute but and it doesn't usually do that so but it's been laying on its side so that might be why so as you can see it's very thin it's not like I don't know if the light is even picking that up but as you can see it's a little bit warm on my hand like this is where it is and I can work with it but I'm wondering if going a shade down will make that a little less warm but this is the neutral tone so I have a feeling that this entire range just veers very very warm so unfortunately but I can make it work with like concealer and stuff like that so it's not like terrible but I and I honestly feel like as we get into the summer months it actually probably look just fine because even though I don't really tan in the summer and I wear a lot of sunscreen my skin tone does get a little bit warmer like a little more golden just in general so this I've so far have really enjoyed it's lasted I wore it all day at work I wore it while I was wearing a mask when I you know I in public transportation also I was sick so I was wearing a, like I had a cold so I was wearing a mask it stayed it did not budge like it like I I did have transfer so it's not non-transferable but my makeup was still intact like my makeup still looked good so that's impressive Next up, I got the Huda Beauty Full Filler, and I got it in the shade Posh, and I have been wearing this. It's very pretty. I wish, my only wish with this is that I wish it was a little more pigmented. I feel like in the pictures, it looks more pigmented than it does on me, and it could be because my lips are quite pigmented on their own, so my own pigment is kind of fighting with the pigment of the the gloss, and my pigment is winning, as it usually does, but when I put this on... Like right now I'm wearing another lipstick that I bought. Well, it's not for my Sephora haul, but I recently repurchased my beloved, um, Pe what is it, Peggy Taupe from Gucci the Glow and Care Shine Lipstick. I repurchased from Nordstrom um, since they were having their, I think they were having like their three times beauty points sale. That were on the same time that Sephora was having their sale and I picked up two lipsticks from that sale. Um, and this is one of them. I decided to re-up on that because I've just been missing it. You know, ever since I panned it a while back, I've just been missing it. So I love it because it gives my lips a little something, but it's kind of just like my lips, but with a little something. I love it. This is more like sheer, just sheer on my lips with a hint of color, a hint of color. So I feel like I need, to, I will need to go for a deeper shade if I want any kind of like true pigment on my lips. But I do like the formula. Um, I don't find it sticky or I know some people have posted on like, Instagram that they were getting like the little like goopy. I don't get I didn't get that but I also don't apply a ton of gloss. So I think it also has to do with how much you're putting on to be quite honest. I feel like if someone's if you're getting that that means you're just putting on too much glosses. Pull back a little bit. Just pull back. So yeah. So far I've enjoyed it. Not as pigmented as I would like but I still think it's a pretty color. Two lipsticks that I also picked up um, were from Merit, and I did pick up Equestrian, which I said I was going to pick up, which is from their new matte line, and it is the brown shade. I will swatch it here for you. How pretty is that? Look at that tone. I feel like my camera doesn't want to focus, but look at that tone. Oh, it's so it's so pretty I love it so much I put it on my lips once I haven't worn it yet um and it's just pretty it's just pretty this for me I think I like this more than their their original formula which speaking of I finally bit the bullet and got 1990 you guys know I've been dancing around this shade for ages I said I was gonna get it I want it I don't know and I was just like you know what Amira just get it because I was placing another order because other items that I'd wanted that weren't in stock when I placed my original order were back in stock and I was just like just throw it in the cart and it was like a it was very much like throw it in the cart check out moment so this is 1990 so this is from the original signature shine lip li lipstick line and then this is the matte one and I 
I like 1990 on my lips quite a bit. It's sort of like, it's sort of like Peggy Taupe, but with um, a little more coolness to it. I should compare these two at, at one point. If you guys want me to do another lipstick video, because I did get more new lipsticks, so I have new lipsticks to show, to show you, because I am a monster and I cannot be stopped. I cannot be stopped. I love lipstick so much. I'm back in my lipstick bag. Like that, you... When I was first getting into makeup, I didn't wear anything but lipstick. Like, I, and I bought lots of lipsticks in bold, funky colors. I'm not really in bold, funky colors mode, but I'm definitely in like pretty lipsticks, luxury lipsticks, lipsticks that are really pretty to look at and put on mode. You know, like that's the bag I'm in right now. So if you want another video, I, ha I have like between these and a couple of others, I have at least four or five new lipsticks to show you guys. But yeah, so. This is Equestrian and this is 1990. I like them both. I haven't been able to wear um, Equestrian as much yet. I tried it on my lips just like as a little swatchy swatch, but I have worn um, 1990 out to dinner and I was very happy with it. All right, next up, I did get the Glossier Cloud Paint and I was going back and forth about which color to get. I wound up getting Swept, which is the second shade because the third shade just looked so warm. It was so warm that I was just like, I think I'm just gonna look orange if I put this on. So I got swept, which is more of the cool, cooler tone and I like it, I do like it, but I feel like for a, for a shade that I would want to like really build up, it doesn't work in that way for me for like bronzer purposes. I did wear it today and it's I mean it's there but it's very subtle in the sense of like where I place it now if I wore this as because I've swatched this on my hand and I feel like if I wore this as you see how pretty that is but it is kind of gray but I love the tone of it like once it sets down it's so pretty and soft and almost looks like I don't know it is very cool tone though I don't know. It's something about it I like, but I don't. I ha I prefer it with. I've tried it with my fingers. I prefer it with my fingers. I tried it with a brush. Didn't love it with a brush. Tried it with a sponge. Didn't love it with a sponge. Actually, I preferred it with a sponge more than the brush, but I still preferred my fingers. So I don't know. I'm still playing with this. I don't know yet how I feel about it. I'm still. My thoughts are still being formed. But I have used it. Um, what I've also used is the new or the re repackaged, reformulated House Labs um, blush. I got the shade Fire Moon, which is here. I love the new packaging and it is much smaller than the original. I have one of the original ones, the one of the shades that she discontinued, Acai Sky. I have that. Um, so this is Fire Moon, this is it on my cheeks. I'm on the fence about this, guys. I'm on the fence about it because I think it's a beautiful color and when I'm looking at myself in the camera, like in the the monitor, the I'm um, the viewfinder. I'm just sort of like, it's pretty. Like, also keep in mind this makeup is that I have on is hours old. I I am filming this at like nine o'clock at night after I got home and ate dinner. So the, I'm built. I'm I I kind of like re I like topped up the blush and added a little powder to my face because my face was a little shiny from how warm it is outside. But in the mon like in the viewfinder, I think it looks stunning. But when I was applying it today, and even here, like looking in my mirror, I think it's pretty. I feel like this is one of those blushes that when I first put it on, I'm not in love with. But as my it, it sort of settles into the skin, it looks prettier. Um, I think for me, because I'm just not a matte powder blush girly anymore, I, if I have a, a powder blush, I tend to want it to have a little bit of shimmer, a little bit of glow to it, luminosity. Or I want a cream blush and this doesn't have a ton of luminosity to it it has some but with a lot of the glow that you're seeing it's just my skin <laughs> so um, a little bit here but like this all of this and like here like this is all my my skin so I feel like I my thoughts are that I, I'm going to keep trying it I need more I need more data um, but interesting development after wearing it for like hours also i will say the first time i tried it i tried it with a brush that i normally wouldn't apply blush with and i hated it so that could be another reason why i, I was like eh, when i first tried it today i applied it with one of the brushes that we got from sigma 
at Critters and Friends, um, the Soft Angled Cheek Brush, the F43. This is their new um, dual fiber line, premium dual fiber line. And I applied it with this today. And I think that's another reason why it's giving something, you know. I think that's another reason why. But yeah, it's growing on me. Like when I first tried it, I was like, I don't know. Even this morning when I put it on, I was like, I don't know. And then when I got home and I was looking at myself in the mirror, I was like, actually, she's kind of cute. So again, I need more data, but my feelings are, are evolving in regards to the blush. Next up, I got two of the two that I said I was going to get of the Forever Mood um, fragrances. I got You Remind Me and NDA. I'm not going to go too in depth with these because I do plan on doing like a fragrance haul video because I did purchase these along with a couple of other things. So I want to talk about these a little bit more in depth. Um, but I will just give you sort of like a little taste. I was a bit, I was surprised by these. I was surprised by these. Not in a negative way, but I was surprised by these. Um, yeah, I've got, I'll have more to say, but I haven't worn them yet. That's the thing. I haven't worn them yet at all. I've only sprayed them on the little, on my little perfume strips. And um, I've had other people smell them. I will say that the one that I thought I would love the most of the two is the one that I don't love the most. And, the one, and um, I'm surprised by the other one. Like the other one, I was like, oh, that's a bit of a wild card. We'll see. And it's the one that I have, has really impressed me. I'll, I'll put it that way. I don't know. I've been wearing fragrance, but I have, but because I've been like sick, I want to have a cold. I was like, I don't, I, I, I found myself not liking the way anything was smelling because my nose was just being irritated by everything. Cause I, you know, everything's making me sneezy. So I was just sort of like, I just kind of like went to things that I knew weren't going to make me like, go like that, you know? So I haven't been able to like, until now I'm feeling a lot better my voice has come back somewhat it's still a little a little scratchy but I feel like now I'm at a place where I can actually like put these on and like really know how I feel about them but at the time I was just like no 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 and then finally I got the salt and stone centaur and vetiver body mist it said vetiver and it said centaur and that was enough for me because vetiver is one of my favorite notes um, and when I smell this, and I'm taking it out of the, I'm going to take it out of the bottle, the box rather, the, how beautiful this is, so pretty. When I smelled this for the first time, it immediately made me think of something I already own, and I'm going to compare the two in my fragrance haul video because I really, I haven't done it yet because I really want to do it and see if they're as similar as I think they are. And someone has said this reminds them of Santal 33. It does not remind me of Santal 33. I will say Santal 33 is incredibly heavy in vetiver, but there is another note in there. Um, and it is the probably the, the Santal, the, you know, the, the Palo Santo. And this smells like something else and I'm going at, that I own and that I'm going to compare because the moment I smelled it, I was like, and it doesn't smell bad. It doesn't smell bad. It smells amazing, actually. But I just want to compare the two. But yeah, when I smell this, I was like, this could be... Because that that fragrance, I feel like, is a bit heavy. And I wouldn't wear it in the summer. But this one, because it's a body mist and other notes in it, it's like the lighter, like, younger sister version of that, of that fragrance. So... I'm excited to like to use this. I did actually I did use this. I sprayed just a little bit of it on Friday before I went out to dinner and I mixed it with something so I was like oh I don't know and the mixture was fantastic and yeah and now I plan on doing that again but so far this is promising. This is very promising and it's really interesting to see body mists coming back but then for them to be as expensive as this one because this one was this was 45 doll hairs. This was 45 doll hairs and it's not even a perfume. It's a body mist. So I feel like this whole new thing is like high end body mist. I don't know how I feel about that yet, y'all, because I feel like we're getting got, but at the same time, it smells good. And finally, I got a little baby mini of the Tower 28 SOS. Now, I've had a journey with this because the first time I bought it, I was spraying it on my face and I was dealing with acne at the time and I felt like it was doing nothing because it was doing nothing. Um, and I then went on, tried no one and it changed my life. Um, but I wound up repurchasing this on a lark because 
of what people have said it does for skin that's just really irritated i get my skin gets crazy in the summer i deal with a lot of like issues with like sun rash and heat rash and it's one of the reasons why i'm not a huge summer person because my skin just goes haywire in the summer and last summer i was using this and this came in clutch y'all anytime i had like any little irritation i would just spray this on and it would just soothe it and so my brain was remembering that going oh you know what i should re-up on that and so i just grabbed the mini the mini is what i used last summer i, I could have gotten the larger size i maybe should have um but yeah this if you have eczema if you deal with um heat rash in the summer um if you have sunburn this is amazing for all of those things i don't necessarily think i would use this at least for me it didn't do anything for me in regards to like breakouts but anything to do with like irritation itchy skin rash type of things this was a lifesaver and finally the last thing i got which is not here because it kept going i was not prepared for how much how hard it was going to be to get my hands on this product and that is the dr idris depuffer serum and like with the thingy on it with the depuffing roller ball that was in my cart and then it wasn't in my cart and then it was sold out and then it was back and i went to get it and it was sold out again before when i went to click on it it was out pulled out of my cart then i went back and it was pulled out of my cart and then i went back and it was pulled out of my cart and then finally after i placed both of my orders and both orders had come in it was back in stock and i was like click 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 and i got it but it won't be here until later this week. So yes, I, I was not prepared for that to be the thing that, I, that was going to be hard for me to get my hands on. But it was. And so I had to place a completely separate order for just that one item in order to get my hands on it. But it is coming. I do. I, it is on its way to me. So, But I did want to talk about it with you guys because that was just crazy, yo. That was crazy. I was like fighting for my life trying to get that. I don't understand. Like, it, it, this is what I say to this, because after a while, I was trying to talk myself out of it, because I was like, well, maybe I won't get my hands on it. Maybe I don't need it. And so I was like, it, I feel like this better be as good <laughs> as the amount of effort I put into getting it. You understand what I'm saying? That's how I feel. Like, should meet me where I'm at as far as the level of effort. So that is everything, guys. Let me know in the comments down below. I feel like this haul was like... When I was placing my orders, I felt like I bought a lot. But now that I'm looking at everything, I'm like, actually, that's not too bad. I feel like it's not unreasonable. You know, I don't feel like I did a lot of damage. You know, like it's just it's a decent amount of stuff. I will say most of it is just like, I, as you can see, I didn't buy like a ton of complexion products. I bought two. Like, I bought like a foundation and like maybe and I'm probably just going to use this blush. I'm going to be serious with you i'm probably just gonna use this blush and like two primers that do opposite things but things that i like that to be, to be done so like i love glow but also when it gets super hot and my skin starts getting super greasy i want something to absorb the oil so i feel like i've got I've, i'm covered you know so yeah let me know in the comments down below guys what did you wind up picking up did you stick to your list is what i want to know because I did for the most part stick to my list. I did have a couple of like last minute items like this got me because I kept looking at it and I was like, oh. I did wind, wind up throwing $19.90. But I did mention in my video that I probably was going to pick it up. So I don't feel like it was that much of a like, like surprise. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below. How did you do? Did you, were you good? Were you good with your, your impulse purchasing? Or did you just like say YOLO and just go ham let me know and if you enjoyed today's video guys please be sure to hit the like button and if you're not subscribed um what you doing girl <laughs>